What's going on you guys? Uncle Jesse here. Welcome to another Sundays with Jesse. Actually, I think technically this is going to be a Mondays with Jesse. Weekend has been jam crammed with activities uh, with the family and friends. So let me just give you a quick rundown of all the wild and crazy stuff that I've been doing the past week. Let's first check out all the way back to last Sunday where I got to go check out the amazing Mario the Maker Magician over at the Strong Museum of Play. Uh, yeah, this was just unreal. Listen, I want to be serious for a second. There he goes, you see? Say, say hi. He knows those keywords. Hi. See? And then he'll wave. And he'll do this forever, <laughs> unless I stop him. So. But that's what's so cool about learning programming and 3D printing and 3D design. If you guys go to MarioTheMagician.com, I have links of how you can be a maker magician, how you can learn programming, 3D design, how to 3D print stuff. It's all on the website there. So I hope you guys, oh, good job, you're clapping your hands now, awesome. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great time. Yeah, what was your favorite part? Um, mostly the monkey, monkey. Yeah. Mostly the monkey? And the robots. All the robots? The yeah. cool magic and robots that he made? Yeah. yeah, that was a lot of fun. We'll have to see that again if we're in New York City sometime, right? Yeah. If you guys ever get a chance to go see Mario the Maker in his show, you definitely need to. It is amazing for kids. It's so interactive. He really gets the kids involved with the magic show. My son, who is uh, seven or almost seven now, is was just like amazed by it and he's got all these cool robots that he's made and all these little different inventions that he's using during the show it's all handcrafted stuff uh, definitely check it out I'll have a link down below uh, to where you can check out his website as well as his YouTube page so you can check out some of the content that he's at hopefully he'll be back at the uh, New York Maker Fair uh, later this summer though. So project wise, I've got a, a few different things going on. I actually just ran a, uh, not a Twitter poll, a YouTube poll asking you guys what you wanted me to work on and finish next. I have a whole bunch of props that I've started and not necessarily finished. So the prop that was really leading that race, uh, there were two of them that were really leading that and the one that ended up winning out was the Winter Soldier arm. So I'm gonna be working on that later this week. The weather's looking really nice. So I'm gonna be doing a lot of sanding and hopefully getting to the actual painting and working on that chrome metallic finish for that, uh, for that arm. So we'll have to check that out. I'm hoping by the end of this coming week, I might have that finished and ready for recording and editing and all that other fun stuff. If you guys saw my last video where I was showing off the uh, Venom mask that I printed on the Piopoli Moy, uh, one of the props that I was working on <laughs> that I unfortunately just broke the other day <laughs> was you can actually see some of, the, some of the clips from it in that video is I decided to print a Colonius um, uh, Batman style mask here on the Moy and it came out so nice, but unfortunately I dropped it and the thing snapped in a half. So now I'm either debating on repairing this and glue gluing it together and repairing it, or maybe I'll just print another one and finish it. But I wanted to show you guys how, uh, how I printed this and then it's a really good example of how I'm gonna take a prop that I wanna sand really smooth and give it a really, really show off that, that smooth finish that you can get from one of these resin printers. Uh, so you can stay tuned and see that hopefully here soon. This shouldn't take me very long to do, so uh, it's not as, as laborious as uh, they might say. So the other awesome thing that I did over on Saturday, which took up most of my day, besides the casino date night that I had with my wife, and won a little cheddar, not too much, just a little cheddar. Well, I took my son to the RIT, which is the Rochester Institute of Technology. Every year in the spring, they have their big imagination uh, festival here. Imagine RIT is what it's called, and they just show off tons and tons and tons of amazing projects that students have created, but it's everything from video games that have been made here locally in New York State to 3D printing stuff and different 3D printing projects to VR activities that they were showing off of uh, a roller coaster that I believe the students had made. Uh, there was uh, robotics. There were uh, little uh, cars that were uh, uh, automatically driving based off of cameras that were mounted on them and able to navigate through a track. There was just tons and tons of activities. 
uh, wonderful for uh, kids all the way up to adults to interact with. There's a lot of just uh, booths everywhere and it's across their entire campus and you can go in and out of the buildings. It's the first time that I've ever been able to go to this and I've just heard wonderful things about it. I was also able to finally, finally meet uh, some of the folks in some of the areas uh, that they have there at RIT, one being the game studio that they have at RIT. And uh, they're just producing some really cool locally made games that are being published on Xbox, PlayStation, the Nintendo Switch, uh, Steam, you name it. There's, they're being developed here locally and they're actually expanding their studio into a much larger space. And so I'm hoping maybe I'll, I'll try and contact those guys and maybe do some, some videos more specifically on what they're working on and things that they are able to do at that new location. But I absolutely thought, found that amazing. Uh, the other really cool thing that I'm hoping to get in, involved with is their 3D printing facilities, which are just massive. <laughs> Yeah, they're just massive. I don't even think I captured everything that was able to be seen there, but they have a really great maker space. Uh, they have a an amazing, it looked like a, a an actual factory studio uh, for producing different material pieces. And then there was also a print lab where it looked like almost a print farm of different printers that were available for students, I'm assuming for different projects that they're working on. Uh, but yeah, I have some footage that will hopefully have been playing over me talking here. I'll probably have a little montage here of different clips of different fun things. But if you're ever in the Rochester area in the spring, definitely check that out. I'll have links down below to that program here. And again, they do it every uh, every April. And it was just amazing. Definitely be going again next year. And my, my son just had a blast. And we walked so much. And I took the best nap afterwards, like an hour and a half nap afterwards. <music> But uh, yeah, that was basically it this week, guys. I just wanted to share what some of the cool stuff was that I've been working on, as well as some of the stuff that I had gone and seen. Again, have links to Mario, uh, Maker the Magician down below. Also, I'll include Imagine RIT and some of those other studios there that I, uh, or, or sections that I visited. Such an awesome, awesome, awesome week, and I uh, hope you guys had a great one as well. Sorry this day, this video is a day late, but uh, hey, hopefully it helps kick off your Monday or if it's late in the day, Monday, a good Monday afternoon. But uh, stay tuned, I'm gonna be painting and spray painting. I'm also trying to finish those Wakandan uh, Captain America shields. So there's a few projects trying to work on this week. So stay tuned. All right, thanks again for watching you guys. See you next time, bye now. Holding this now feels a little bit dirty after seeing Infinity War. Still one of my favorite Marvel props though.